Ever wonder what it would be like to hold a piece of ancient history in your hands? I'm not talking about an old coin or a dusty book. I'm talking about something millions, even billions of years old. I'm talking about fossils. These aren't just cool looking rocks, they're time capsules. And today, we're going to crack them open. So how does an animal say a massive T-Rex turn into a fossil? It's way rarer than you think. In fact, scientists estimate that less than one-tenth of one percent of all the animal species that have ever lived have become fossils. The conditions have to be absolutely perfect. First, you need a quick burial. Imagine our T-Rex dies. It can't just lie out in the open. It needs to be covered up fast before scavengers tear it apart or the weather breaks it down. Think about it getting caught in a sudden mudslide, a sandstorm, or sinking into the bottom of a swampy lake. This sediment, the mud, sand, or silt, acts like a protective blanket. Now, a lot of people think the actual bones are what we find, but that's usually not the case. Here's where the magic happens. Over thousands and millions of years, as more and more layers of sediment pile on top, the pressure builds. Water seeps down through these layers, carrying dissolved minerals with it. Slowly, molecule by molecule, these minerals replace the original organic material of the bones, the teeth, or even the shells. It's a process called permineralization. It's like creating a perfect, stone-cast replica of the original bone, right where it lay. And it's not just bones! We find fossilized footprints which tell us how dinosaurs walked and whether they traveled in herds. We find fossilized eggs, sometimes with tiny, unhatched baby dinosaurs inside. There are even, wait for it, fossilized poop, officially called coprolites. And yes, scientists study them. It gives them a direct look into a prehistoric animal's diet. Talk about getting the inside scoop, but here's the twist. The Earth is an active planet. Tectonic plates shift, mountains rise, and erosion wears them down. For us to find a fossil, the rock layers that have been buried for millions of years have to be pushed back up to the surface. Then, wind and rain have to do their work, eroding away the surrounding rock to expose just a tiny piece of the fossil. It's like the planet is revealing its secrets, one fossil at a time. So, from a quick death and rapid burial to a slow, mineral-based transformation deep underground and finally, a chance reappearance on the surface millions of years later, the journey of a fossil is nothing short of a geological miracle. Every single one we find is a lottery winner, a priceless clue that helps us piece together the epic story of life on Earth. Next time you see a fossil in a museum, just take a moment. You're not just looking at a rock, you're looking at a survivor. You're looking at time itself.